Welcome to the Daily Energize Podcast, where you'll get a jolt of energy and a quick tip to help you conquer your day. Now here's your host, the Prince of Positivity himself, Spencer Jones. Join me and take a deep breath in. Here we go. Hold it in for a bit and then exhale. Let's do that one more time together. Let's breathe in. Hold it and then exhale. It's amazing what taking a single breath or even just taking a couple seconds and doing two or three slow, deep breaths, what it can do for you. It calms your mind, it relaxes your body, it lowers your blood pressure, uh, decreases your heart rate, allows you to be more focused, more energized, and just feel more alive. At least that's what it does for me, and I would imagine it does for you based on all the research and uh, I've done on it and all the times that we've done it with people and the, hearing the responses from people. So I'm assuming you got the same thing from it. How many times do you take in a day to breathe like that? Maybe once. Probably not too often. Because well, we're so focused on, oh, I got this test to do, oh, I got to go over here, do this, now, now this thing. And it's a constant go, 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 the grinding, the hustling, that we just get sucked into that grind culture into just that constant go, 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 that we don't stop and breathe until maybe, maybe until we get home. And then, you know, maybe with dinner we just do a big exhale. It's like that weight is taken off our shoulders. But a lot of the time, we get home and we're like, ah, crap, now I got to do this around the house. I got to take care of the yard. I got to clean over here. I got to do this. That it never really seems to stop. What would your life look like if you took time to breathe? If you were intentional about pausing and breathing? What would that look like? How would that affect your life? Would it help you? Would it help you, or would it hinder you? And I'm not saying taking you know five minutes to do breath work, which that'd be amazing if you could do that. But what would be taking thirty seconds to take some of those deep breaths in? What would that do for you? Or maybe you know some breath work strategies like the the four seven eight breath or the the box breathing to help you when you're feeling stressed out and overwhelmed. They can help regulate your nervous system. Or are you just like, all right, I'm just going to pause, take some deep breaths. And you do that three times a day. Maybe you do it when you get to work, you do it uh, in the afternoon, and you do it in the evening. You just plan your day. Like, all right, I'm just going to drop these in. Throughout the day, I'm going to be intentional about them. And you just Do three slow, deep, gentle breaths like we did, except we only did two. Do three of them. Breathe. Something we take for granted because our bodies are able to do it automatically. We don't have to think about it. We don't have to worry about it. But how amazing is it that we can do all of that? We can breathe. We can feel alive and energized. And we can intentionally change our breath to calm our minds, to calm our bodies, just by breathing. So today, it's a Friday, I invite you to breathe, to be very intentional about your breath. Yeah, at times you're just going to be breathing and not realizing, that's cool. But intentionally take time today to do some deep breaths. Find, you know, whether you want to do box breathing or something else, Or you just want to like, I'm just going to take some slow, deep, gentle breaths. That's amazing. When I was disconnecting on that cruise, guess what I did a lot of? Especially 
uh, when we were in Alaska, looking at glaciers and in the mountains. I love the mountains. I took a lot of deep breaths. I was able to savor the, the, the places around me, the sights, the sounds, that much more. And I was able to just lock into myself to reconnect. And I used my breath to help me do that. So as you go through today, I invite you to, to lock in with yourself, to pause and breathe, whichever way works for you, and then continue to intentionally take some time to do some deep breaths tomorrow and on the next day. Because it can only help you. It won't hinder you. So take those couple seconds and breathe. So let's end this episode with some breathing. So exhale. Let's breathe in. And exhale. I'm breathing in and out through my nose. You can do whatever you like. Breathe in. And out. One more time. Let's breathe in. And exhale. Sometimes it doesn't always work breathing out through your nose when you're sick. That's okay. But do what works best for you. So let's go breathe. Let's go shine our lights. And just be in our bright gorgeous, amazing self. That's right. You are amazing. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. Embrace it. Savor it. And let your light shine. All right. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Do you know that we put together a variety of events, retreats, and experiences all aimed at helping you step into your light and shine bright? Well, if not, now you know. We do things like a winter yoga retreat, meditation experience, Crush and Conquer, where we build courage and confidence. Even we have uh, one-day events, all aimed to help you shine bright. Well, if you are curious and want to learn more about the cool events we have, just check out our website, wearejonesin4.com. So we are, W-E-A-R-E, Jonesin4, J-O-N-E-S-I-N-F-O-R.com. We are Jonesin4.com, and check out the amazing events Katie and I would love to see you at one of them, or all of them, right? And they're cool because we have stuff that's big, uh, 150 plus people, down to 4 to 12, nice intimate setting. So if that interests you and you want to come hang out and step into your light even more, make sure you go to wearejonesandford.com. All right, thank you so much, and have an awesome day.